Okay, today we're going to show you how to install a passive house window. It's one of the first things that we're looking at is my technicians installing the clamps. So these windows do not get nailed on. What you're usually seeing is some type of a flange, a nail fan, that the window comes in from the outside, sits inside of this opening, and then we screw it down to the outside. For passive house windows, what we really want to do, we take the thickness of our wall and we divide it into thirds. And we want to set that window in the second third of the whole wall assembly. Now, the reason why we do that is for the case of the insulation properties. You set your window in the middle of the insulation, you're going to get the best performance out of it. First of all, a little bit of shading because you got the exterior sitting out. But let's show you how the window is actually installed. Okay, so we moved the window to the inside because since the frame, since the exterior of the frame is going to be sitting flush with the exterior of the wood, you can see that we're doing a little angle piece of wood down here in the corner. That way we can just set our window inside the opening push it flush up against that piece of wood and we know exactly where to attach our brackets and our screws into the wood framing of the rough opening. Yeah. I'm going to go out front. I'm going to hold, make sure that that top part stays flush. Okay. Everything came out really nice. It's nice and secure. And everything is pushed to these two sides flush with the wood. And then over here, it is also flush due to the fact is I'm leveling it out with the existing plywood on the outside. And then we'll just go ahead and finish off the rest of the screwing, which allows us to keep the window in place. And the reason why we do it this way is that we're able to get our exterior weather stripping and wrap it from our existing blue at Hero 3000 over across the top of our window, which allows us to do a complete air sealing, not only from outside, but then we'll also do it from the inside too. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so we're over here at one of the windows that we have already installed. And if you look closely, you can see the clips that we have. So we installed the clips around the block framed window. We went ahead and screwed it in where all the clips are at, and then we bent over the remaining hanging over part, which you could have cut them off, bend them over, cut them off, doesn't really matter. Um, but then you can see our black tape here. And this is a, again, another product by Proclima. And what it is, it's a air permeable tape, which means it'll allow vapor to get through, controlled vapor, but it also is an air barrier and a water barrier. So literally, it's basically stopping water and air from getting into the building. Uh, but before we actually stick this tape on, this final air sealing tape, we actually stick a backer rod around the whole perimeter of the window to also help stop any potential air leaks because you don't really just want to depend on this alone, even though it would work, but we want a material that's kind of flexible and when that window shifts back and forth, at least it's hitting some type of foam rubberized material so it doesn't harm the window frame or the window itself. But this is a proper way to install a passive house window inside of the wall assembly. Now let's take you back over to the window we just installed and we'll show you the backer rod. Okay, 
So here's our backer rod, just basically round diameter foam. I think this is like three quarter inch. And we kind of just start at one side of the window. It doesn't matter if it's at the top, the bottom, wherever. And you kind of just shove it into your, your cracks here. You got to be careful that you don't poke a hole in it. Not that it would hurt it, but the whole point of this stuff is to just get it inside that hole.